everybody. How is it going with you? Hopefully fine. This is Pamela from Pamela's Butterfly Life and I'm coming to you uh, to talk about, have a little story time. On Monday, I um, talked about the storms of life and how uh, sometimes when storms come or even before the storm come or when it's kind of brewing, we have a tendency to think that it's going to be like momentous and just change our lives, uproot uh, everything that we've been, you know, going through or trying to, trying to, uh, you know, push ahead. So I have a story time to tell you about how sometimes things aren't what they appear. And sometimes things do go your way, whether you cause the storm or you didn't cause a storm. So uh, in college, I went to a Christian, I went to a Christian college. And uh, before you even, you know, uh, register or start going and uh, you have to sign a contract that states that uh, under under their rules you will not engage in any uh, what any uh, lewd activities such as uh, sex before marriage drinking smoking you know it's like the three carnal rules you know in, in my school and I signed it you know no problem so uh, my senior year I had roommates I had three roommates one roommate had her, had her had her man come over several times like during the weekday now come on he spent night all night do you think they was having a bible study no they weren't i think they were doing the devil's dance with no pants but i'm not the one to judge they weren't bothering me i didn't bother them no judgment i didn't you know i didn't care uh so one weekend i went with my friends we went to get some wine coolers now we are we are of age to drink but under you know under my college you know guidelines we weren't supposed to drink so we had a couple of wine coolers and we left them in the refrigerator uh my roommate who had her her man come over to you know do we just say bible study all night uh she, we got that one morning all of our like wine coolers had all these post-its and she was pretty much condemning us to hell all these bible verses about how we shouldn't drink how we shouldn't you know uh how we supposed to follow the rules me and my friends looking at her like oh oh for real that's how you feel so she took, uh, she took the posters and our wine coolers to the dean of students to get us in trouble. I was like clutching my imaginary pearls. Like, no, she didn't. Uh, so on my mind, I was so, so, I was upset. I was disappointed. And I thought we were, we were going to get expelled because that was grounds of expulsion if you did drink. And um, so one of my friends was very livid. She took it to, you know, our, the dean of students and told, uh, told him about her, her special visitor that she was having. And uh, we didn't end up getting, you know, suspended. But in my mind, I was freaking out. Like, my mama is going, she's going to get me. It's over. I got to get, you know, I'm almost finished with school. Now I got to get, I'm going to get expelled. I'm not going to, you know, finish getting my degree. And it built up my mind that, like, the worst case scenario. And guess what? There was no worst case scenario. So a lot of things that we, that we anticipate, some of it, you know, doesn't even actually come to fruition. So I'm just saying that sometimes we go through things and, it's not as bad as we think, you know. So just be optimistic and always look at the glass as, as half full, you know, and you are going to be okay. And that, that's like a small, you know, like a small story, but it still applies. It's still applicable to anything that you're going on, that's going on um, in life. When that storm does come, just know that it comes to pass and you are going to be okay and you will, you will triumph. So I was just, you know, thinking about you. So I want you to have a a uh, fantastic and a beautiful day and make it count and always remember that you are beautiful you deserve to be in a healthy body until i see you again thank you